Guys, okay, so these are all succulents. We are at Cornell Farm in southwest Portland with Rachel here. There's so many different types of succulents. So maybe you've gone to the store, you've seen a succulent, maybe you even have one in your house, you don't even know that it's a succulent. Rachel, what exactly is a succulent? Um, it's any plant that uh, doesn't need a lot of water. So they're things that are like native to like deserts, places like that. They hold a lot of water in their leaves, so they're just really easy to care for. They take a lot of sun, really drought tolerant, and yeah. So if you're a person like, like me and maybe Chris and Kathy sitting there too, and you don't even know what types of plants things are, or you're, you're new to gardening, it might be an easy one to take care of? It's definitely an easy one to start with. The, most, the thing we see the most is overwatering with succulents. So really, it's one of those things that you can kind of set and forget it. So if you're someone who goes out of town a lot or doesn't really know what they're doing with plants, it's one of those things that if you're in doubt, just let it go another week before you do anything to it. Let it just sit and do its thing. It's more kind of like you know, an art piece than a plant you have to take care of all the time. So it's an easy one. It's like a fish, not a dog, you know. Perfect. I like that. The baby steps start with the fish, the fish version of a plant. Okay, so sometimes when you buy them here at Cornell Farm or at any shop, they come in a cute little pot. That's the word I'm thinking of. See, I'm a really good gardener, guys. But then other times they'll come in just a little basic thing. So you want to repot it. How do we go about doing that? Yeah, so a lot of them, you know, will just come in their little nursery pot. So, and you want to plant it, you know, maybe in something a little more decorative. A lot of people kind of think succulents are really tender and they're like really careful with them. But what's great about them is like as you're working with it, if a piece happens to like, you know, happen to break off, a lot no! of people make that space. But what's great <laughs> is they'll pretty much grow roots from anywhere. So, what? like, this whole stem will just start to grow roots. So, you can just stick it in the soil. Wait, seriously? It'll just root in. So easy, easy. So you don't what? have to worry about anything. Okay, breaking. that just blew my mind. That's yeah. amazing. But well, then if you things. if you don't break it up, or maybe you break exactly. off that one, so you replanted that one, how do you do the rest of it? Yeah. So you just want to like kind of massage the pot a little bit, pop it off, and you can kind of see the root ball there. So what happens a lot in a nursery pot is roots will circle around, kind of get you know stuck in a shape so you just want to kind of break that up it's going to get kind of messy do it outside you know yes. do it over your sink or something <laughs> um so you just kind of break that up and what that's going to do is cause little breaks in the roots which will encourage new growth of the roots and it's also going to make them so that they can grow outward instead of continuing to grow in a circle so once you kind of break that up a little bit make it so it's a little bit looser you can see how the roots are kind of loose in the bottom there you just make a little hole in your pot pop it in and then you can just fill in little holes with soil and then super easy, you have a nice succulent pot. Okay, so that was easy. How do we know, you said don't overwater it. How do you know, what's a trick to know when you should water it? My favorite trick is to just give the leaf a little pinch and if it feels fairly like hard to you or um, you know, not squishy, mm -hmm. real <laughs> basic terms there, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're getting very, to the basic level. You wanna feel yeah. that there's actually water in there. Yeah. Right? So if it feels like it's hard, don't water it. Because a lot of times the soil will be extremely dry and people are like, no, I need to water it. I want to care for my plant. But they don't like that. If you kind of think about plants, you know, that grow in the desert, it only rains four times a year usually. So they really don't like a lot of water. And then if you're ever like nervous or like you're not sure, let it go another week. It's definitely not going to hurt it. Okay. Thank you so much. They seem easy enough to take care of. Chris, Kathy, now you know what a succulent is and how to go about actually potting one for yourself. Back mm -hmm. to you.